Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crutcher. I'm getting ready to leave for the weekend and I thought I'd pop on here and do a real quick one. Otherwise my videos get very, very long. So, first thing I wanted to show you was I finished the Yvette Shawl by the Dabbling Hook, Laurel of the Dabbling Hook. And I said it was a monster and it absolutely is. I love it so much. I don't want to give it away, <laughs> but it is for my daughter. And I'm actually making the same shawl for her, but in a different colorway, which I'm hoping to have done sometime this week. This is using the Hobie yarn. Focus, come on. Hobie yarn. And it is called Hurricane, 100% acrylic, 350 yards. I used two cakes. So this is 700 yards of yarn, or 700 meters of yarn. So I love it. Let me see. Okay, the old man is sitting there, but we're going to try to. Okay, Zuzi. We're going to try to. Look at this. I absolutely love, 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 love this so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, sorry, buddy. Sorry. Okay, you sit back down. Good boy. <laughs> He's taking a nap and I'm disturbing him. Anyway, I love it so much. She is going to just love it. Um, so, I am so happy with this pattern. Cannot... I don't know. You guys are all going to think that I'm in cahoots with Laurel, but I really am not. I've never met the woman, <laughs> but I just love the way she writes. And uh, the things that she comes up with are um, practical things that I can use. So love that. Thanks, Laurel. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that. Um, I've also caked up my Songbird Fibers yarn. This is called, oh, this is 80, 20, uh, Superwash Merino and Nylon, 425 yards of fingering weight, which is thin. And this is called Northern Cardinal. Uh, if you guys all remember when I purchased this, this was that lady, uh, local dyer, well, somewhat local, she's in Ontario, um, who, um, I guess uh, part of every sale goes to bird education and uh, help. Anyway, I started knitting. I found a pattern online, and for the life of me, I cannot remember. Uh, it's not a pattern online, it's a tutorial on YouTube. I will leave the link for that because right now it has just flown out of my head. Really easy. I wanted a triangular scarf or shawl and this is really easy so because all of the increases are on one side but <laughs> this is my progress <laughs> no idea what happened here well, let me see if I can get rid of this okay no idea what this is <laughs> I don't I've never been so inconsistent in my gauge ever like uh, oh my goodness. Anyway, so my mom says, you need to rip it back to there. And I'm like, no, I do not rip. Do not rip. <laughs> At all. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to keep going with it. It's for me anyway. Loving how the colors are turning out. Um, so I'm just going to keep going. And, and this, this little piece, I would say this is... <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say it's about five hours of work. That's crazy. <laughs> this is going to take me forever to do. But anyway, so I'm going to continue on uh, lumps and bumps and all. Uh, and we'll see what it turns out like. I will definitely share it with you. And I am using Chai Gu. Uh, these are not the ones I ordered from Amazon. These are ordered from a store in... Um, British Columbia. Um, they were having a sale on Etsy and I purchased these. These are size 4 millimeter, very long cord. Um, but the ones that I ordered from Amazon never made it here. It was, the whole process was ridiculous. They finally gave me a refund and uh, it's funny because I got these 
for ha including shipping for half the price that I paid for that original pair through Amazon. And uh, yeah, lesson learned. I will do my research. Um, anyway, so I'm working on that. What else am I working on? Oh, I wanted to share something else. I have been inspired by Zelda and Claudia to create some buttons. And I did. Now, I don't know. I, I, I sent out a couple to a few of the podcasters. And then I saw the price. Turns out, I was just at the post office. Turns out, you can't mail these in regular mail. Uh, about a year ago, the U.S. Postal Service put in some restrictions. This is what the po Canada Post is telling me. Put in some restrictions. You cannot, in the mail, like an envelope, you, if it's just paper, it'll go through and it'll cost me whatever, two bucks to, sh to, to send it out to the U.S. If I put anything that's not paper, $7 minimum, $7 minimum, $7.38 minimum. I'm like, what? These things aren't worth that much. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um, I'm just going to have to give these away if I have a giveaway or something like that or a swap or whatever. So I do apologize. I was going to send them to a whole bunch of different podcasters. But then when I saw the bill, I'm like, whoa. Anyway, I'll show you the pins. Um, so the first one is obviously my logo. There's my logo. That's the first one. That's a little close to my heart. The other one I designed for myself and I'm hoping that you all know what it means. You see that? Come on, focus. Oh, it just won't focus. I think you get it. It's a little frog a line through it. So those are my first two designs. Um, I found a place on Etsy that makes these very cheaply and doesn't charge me shipping. So um, yeah, she's pretty phenomenal. And I got, I ordered it on Sunday and I got it by Tuesday. Phenomenal. Like just really great. So I will be adding these to um, when I have giveaways or swaps or things like that. But um, just sending out a card with two pins in it, seven to, over $7. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I've been up to. I've been up to designing, and I'm going to come up with a few more designs. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been up to. Um, have I been up to anything else? I've been very, very busy. So anyway, I'm going to let you go. Um, I'm going to go and start something new <laughs> or maybe finish a few things. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful weekend and we will back, be back on Monday or I will be back on Monday to do the draw for, uh, the cow, um, and then start the next cow. Anyway, have a wonderful weekend and we'll talk soon.